the famous Hollywood Tower where all of our guests stay. <laughs> <laughs> where? Okay, our Do next I have a guest. Suite? Huh? Do I have a suite? Oh, yes, of course, my sweet. Good. We'll give you several. This is our next guest, by the way, who plays the conniving, sneaky TV news reporter Sloan Denning on the CBS soap opera Capital. Of course, at our company, we would never hire journalists like Sloan. But on the other hand, she always gets her story. Deborah Maloney. Hiya. Hiya. And this is a nighttime soap guy, Jack. You know Jack. Hi, Jack. Fighting later. Tired. And you play, you play this anchor lady. It's mean and vicious. Not always mean, but conniving. You, when you first did the uh, the show, and they told you you're now going to be a TV anchor person, you went out and researched it. I re I researched after I found out that I was an anchor person. In daytime TV, sometimes uh, your life can change overnight. And at first, I was just uh, covering fashion shows, and and my life centered around personal. Uh, experiences and suddenly the storyline changed and I was an anchor woman overnight so then what did you do you did one newscast on the air <laughs> right and that was it or was, on your show I did a, it on the show newscast. it was like overnight and that was so tough now I respect what the newscasters do because uh, being thrown that type of responsibility <clears throat> I realized how hard it was to do a newscast and after that first attempt I went <clears throat> and watched at KNX TV and learned how, how to do it and you watch somebody that actually was on for their first night. Sandy Hill, first time yeah, at Canex Who does a super job out She's here. great. We yeah. watch her every night. But she was nervous. Mm -hmm. So that kind of made you think, well, it's okay then. It's human. Yeah. Any new experience, people are nervous. Do you have a favorite newscaster? Uh, Ted Copel. Ted Copel? Mm-hmm. So Copel or Copel? Copel. Sorry, I pronounced it. <laughs> but Darling, you like him. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, whatever Copel. you say, he's still got the cutest Bernie, ears on TV, I tell you. Bernie Copel with a love boat. Well, how do you pronounce ears? it so if I ever meet him? Copel. Copel. Cop, sorry, yeah. Ted, Ted Copel, yes. That's interesting, though. He mentioned Bernie, B Bernie Copel from the love boat, who spells his name the same way. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And he, yeah, everybody's got, pronounces it differently. He's yeah. got personality. Yes. Bernie or, or uh, Ted. 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 They both do. Ted. He's got cute ears, too. He's got cute ears. Yeah. You watch him for his ears. You got a neat name on the show, Sloan Denny. <laughs> Everybody's got those neat television names. Would you ever change your name like that and go away from Maloney? I thought about it for years. Yeah. I always said, uh, and then when I first got this job, I used to, my first agent changed my name to Maloney, M-A-L-O-N-E-Y, so people could pay me correctly. And uh, the day I got the show, I said, I'm, I, I'll go by the birth name, make Dad proud. Who else do I have to please? Sure. And my dad called and he said, hey, they spelled our name. And I said, you know, no one else in the world will ever be able to pronounce this, but they, it's, it's what I am. Where are you from? Northern California, Marin County. Oh, but he gets to see you on TV. Yeah. Is he a big fan of yours? Does he <laughs> like your character? Oh, God, he's, they, he used to call me Mrs. Khrushchev when I was a kid. <laughs> so, Why? <laughs> I was a pain in the neck. Did you ever see Mrs. Khrushchev? I never knew what it was. I didn't even know she was Russian today. when I was a kid. It just like happened. She must have been dead 50 years ago. used to bang her shoe on the table. All that. Really? <laughs> uh, he did that. She <laughs> would bang her pumps or whatever that was. <laughs> would Sloan uh, bend the news to, uh, to make it go on her benefit? Never. No. The one thing she may... When Sloan delivers the news, it is completely 100% accurate. Where her, um, quote, conniving talents come in is uh, obtaining the news. Getting the news, oh, she, she may it. be manipulative, she may use people in her... Uh, my father, Sloan's father is a senator. And so getting the news could be a bit conniving, but once it's delivered, it is 100% correct in total. Otherwise, why be a news reporter, right? I totally agree with you. Everything you said. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you, have to, do you have to memorize the lines on Dynasty? Or of course, you have to memorize lines. The reason why is because we found out, like on the daytime soaps, a lot of times they use teleprompters and cue cards. Well, even when they're used, I mean, coming from daytime, even when, when people use them, they generally have them memorized anyway, and they're just there for a safety blanket. I didn't use them because I, I, it always threw me. To think of them, of them, your lines hanging there, I, that always sort of threw me. But uh, I don't think it's because people... It's not like in Tootsie where they don't even bother looking at their lines and they go in there and they just stare into the teleprompter. I mean, uh, nobody does that. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Did many people use them on your show? I'd say a 
over 50 percent. Because no one's allowed, no one uses them. Oh, really? We're talking days Nobody. of our lives. I'm talking days of our lives. I yeah, Dynasty, no, no. You don't because need to. Because you don't have to. Yeah, you know, I mean, you're doing six pages as opposed to 60. It's a lucky different. person. But see, on, cap <laughs> on capital, yeah, on capital, <laughs> what? You, you wanted to use, you wanted to use cue cards. No, I wanted to use a teleprompter when I did my first newscast. And That's that when you were being slow in doing the news. Slow in doing the news. And I get, it, it, personally, I probably s went to uh, the production company saying I wanted to use a teleprompter to make it authentic. I th honestly, it was for security. And when they said no, you know, I, I respect them now for telling me no. No cue cards for, for telephone calls, no, no teleprompter. That made me really work learn and lives. learn and learn how to do it. And I tried every way I could to get a teleprompter, let me tell you. But <laughs> I didn't get we it. We bring out what you told me what you do, as far as hiding your lines. Oh gosh, what a secret! <laughs> he's telling me. Well, because once when, when in a while. We want to watch the show. We're gonna look for this now. Okay, once in a while, Sloan Denning carries a clipboard. Oh, she she <laughs> doesn't. She doesn't Sloan Denning. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> right. And on that clipboard, she'll turn the page, and you know that's the next line. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> no, you won't. That's okay. It works. It works. You and it it it, it works. Are you a fan of the nighttime soaps? I mean, you don't have to, you know, just say yes because because Jack's sitting there. No. <laughs> okay. oh, you don't have to say no. Just <laughs> I tried sometimes. to watch. I really did. <laughs> I think I lasted about six minutes, which is a record, but that's okay. Why? It's all right. You watch daytime. Not anymore. No. <laughs> you did up until today. I used to be a big fan of Capital, but uh, suddenly lost my and appetite. I used to be a big fan of Dynasty. No. <laughs> well, we're I used gonna to get this fight. Oh, go ahead, Jack. Go ahead. No, I used to watch them when I was on daytime. Sort of have to see what it, what's going and on. And do, doesn't doing. every but show block the same? Oh yeah. Well, the thing is, is that you have to. I mean, when I say I watch them, I wouldn't watch them on days off. But when I was at the studio, not doing something, I would, you know, switch around the the. Uh, no. TV in the dressing room. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Sometimes take a look at what's going on. Just to see who was killing who or sleeping with yeah. who, where. Well, you get to know a lot of the people also. Being in the same, you know, field, you get to know the people and so you're interested in what they're doing. And it's it's good to watch other soaps. I like to see the other storylines, what's happening. And it's like whatever business you're in, you, you should become involved in. And you try to figure out who's stealing from whom. <laughs> well, yeah, because yeah, I, I always wonder where the yeah. ideas keep coming from. Uh, because how far can you take all this stuff? You know, especially when you get all the nighttime soaps dealing with their problems, and then the daytime soaps are dealing with their problems. Well, you can recycle stories and with a twist, you can do that almost indefinitely. I mean, and look how long. Characters. Yeah, and look how long. I mean, the soaps have been on the air. You can come up with. 16 or 18 years of storyline, you can certainly... Well, it goes back long before that. I mean, it goes back to the radio days. Oh, right, of course. But, but Do you find that on daytime that, that um, occurrences and, and events happen much quicker than on nighttime? No, I think exactly the opposite. I found that well, on the show I was doing, it seemed like, you know, you'd take all week and you keep repeating yourself because you have to do five shows in a week, whereas you have to move quicker in nighttime, you only have that one week. So I think that storylines, I find that yeah. from show to show, they progress more quickly. That's interesting. But I don't know, maybe Capital's different. Do they yeah, keep, we go fast. Do they keep you in yeah. suspense like they do on, on Dynasty? Uh, personally? I mean, in the show, yeah, as far as the scripts go. I, I chose not to be concerned with the future because in my own in my own life I don't worry about I can't you cannot be completely involved in what's going to happen tomorrow and when I first started the show I wanted to know my my outline for the next 3 months I wanted to know that as an actor to make choices I find it's, it's much more exciting to go with whatever is happening that day I don't want to know any further in advance because if I come up with something then they'll go with it and that's the, the excitement of of daytime I think stay with us okay Really? We've got to, yeah, we've got to do the news, and then we'll be back. Jack yeah. has to leave. Do we have one? Do we have teleprompter? Yeah, they got teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, thanks for being with us. Thank Continued you. Continued success with Stephen okay. Carrington on Dynasty and Walter Olkowitz will be with us in a little bit, along with Deborah. Please don't go away.